Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a beginner's guide of how to use GDAX, which is an exchange for Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin, which will help you to save money on transaction fees rather than using the likes of Coinbase. If you like this video today, please give me a like. It really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you like and enjoy. So maybe you're new to the world of cryptocurrency and you're used to kind of using the likes of Coinbase to buy your Bitcoin, your Ethereum and your Litecoin. Well, GDAX is a really good alternative that will help you to save on those transaction fees. Now, like I said, Coinbase is absolutely fantastic if you are new to cryptocurrency and you're simply buying your first Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin. However, if you are kind of buying on a regular basis or you're kind of selling, then the transaction fees can really add up. Now, Coinbase is does also own uh, GDAX. So as you can see in the URL here, you've got Coinbase Inc. US and the top um, URL bar here, but you also have it on GDAX as well. So they are owned by the same people. Therefore, or things like your um, your account is already set up when you have a Coinbase account you also have automatically you have a GDAX account and it uses the same credentials and the same two-factor authentication now I have actually already done a full tutorial of Coinbase um, so if you are new to it and you want to have a take a look at that then I'll put that in the top right hand corner now now with regards to those Coinbase fees you can see here if I was to purchase I'll give you an example here if I was to purchase 500 pounds worth of Bitcoin, so the Bitcoin price currently is at £10,577.78. And, and you can see that the Coinbase fee is coming out at £19.18. Now, this is if I was doing a credit card uh, purchase. However, we just take a look at the different types of fees. Now, I'm based out of the UK. Therefore, there are some fees in terms of actually kind of going through and buying um, on a credit card. So you're looking at 3.99%. They do have uh, bank transfer fees as well, and um, they do say that they are free. However, because I'm based out of the UK and Coinbase is based out of Estonia for me personally, I do actually get charged a bank transfer fee as well. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can actually go through and you can buy your Bitcoin or your Ethereum or Litecoin and do so commission free. So that fee is showing up at £19.18. If I just take us over to a list of the fee structure for GDAX, you can see here that the amount of fees that you're actually paying is only 0.25% and that is at the very highest amount that you'll ever be paying. There are different types of user 30-day volumes depending on the amount that you are buying or selling. So that is the take a fee at 0.25% and there's a make a fee of 0%. I'll be taking you through what the different types of of maker or takers are but if you do go through and have a look on the GDAX website it will actually explain what the difference is between maker and taker like I said I will be taking you through that in a moment and I'll show you the different way that you can do that so if you're looking at kind of um, Bitcoin to USD you can look at um, Ethereum to Bitcoin and you've got a slightly higher fee at 0.3 if you're looking at Ethereum to euros you're looking at 0.3% fee again again that maker fee is at 0% so what I'll do is I'll just take us through the GDAX account and show you how you go through and show you how you use GDAX. So when you are in Coinbase and you, if you're already logged into Coinbase and you want to go through to GDAX, it will automatically open up GDAX for you so you don't have to go through, you don't have to create a new account, it's automatically all set up for you. GDAX is seen as a more advanced um, type of exchange um, as opposed to Coinbase. That's the reason why with Coinbase you are paying that higher fee. However, don't let that put you off. Um, when we go through this today, you'll see how simple it is to actually use GDAX to go through and purchase your Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. So once you're on the GDAX site, what does it actually show you? So it shows you some price charts. So in here, you can look at the different price charts. You can view in different time frames. You can view information with regards to the last six hours, the last day, etc. Et what it also allows you to do is view exactly what's going on in terms of the crypto markets. So you're viewing more advanced information in here. You can also have a look at depth charts in here as well, just to get an idea of what's going on in the market. What you have on the left hand side here in red is you have all the people that are selling. For example, I'm looking at um, Ethereum to euros at the moment. So I'm looking at that type of market. And what I'm viewing is this top red hand section, which is constantly changing. I'm looking at all the people that are selling their Ethereum. Underneath here, you then have the um, 
buy orders, so all the people that are going through and buying Ethereum. Then if you've actually gone through, you will then see any open orders in this bottom hand section here. And it'll also give you an idea of the market trade history that's going on. And it tells you, you know, the prices, that um, the trade sizes, the prices and the time that that actual order happened. If you then want to go through and you want to make your deposit, you simply click on to deposit to load up some funds. Now you can send uh, deposit funds directly from SEPA, however you've actually got your Coinbase account in here. So it'll find your source, it'll have a look at your wallets, and you can then go through and deposit your funds in this way. Now with regards to depositing your funds into Coinbase, one of the best ways to deposit your funds into Coinbase is by using a process using the Revolut app. So the Revolut app basically allows you to exchange your um, GBP, for example, into euros commission free. So that way, with regards to Coinbase, sometimes you have to pay an international charge to convert into euros. This will just eliminate that commission fee that you will receive. I've actually done a tutorial of how to actually go through using Revolut, Coinbase and GDAX. And what I'll do is I'll put a video to that in the top right hand corner now that will allow you to do this commission free. I've also got another video of how to do the exactly the same process, however, just withdrawing. And what I'll do is I'll put that in the top right hand corner now. So with regards to the depositing funds in GDAX, like I said, it will automatically pick up any accounts that you or any wallets that you currently have in your Coinbase account. And you can see here that the deposits from your Coinbase accounts are unlimited. Processing time, constant um, Coinbase transfers are instant and they are free. So that's really good in the fact that you can get your deposits into GDAX absolutely immediately. If you do already have your Ethereum in a wallet such as my Ether wallet, you can send that direct to GDAX with the use of this address also. Now once you've deposited your funds into GDAX, you then have the option of choosing which market that you would like or what you're looking to actually purchase. I'm going to select Ethereum for euros for the moment in this example. I'm not actually going to be going through. I'm looking to hold my cryptocurrency for the long term, um, but I just want to show you the different examples that you have in here. So now that you're into your Ethereum euro market, what you can then do is go through or buy or sell. So with regards to buying, you have three different options here. So the first option is market. So what you're essentially doing is you are purchasing at what the market price currently is. And it's kind of an instant um, purchase that you're making. You're not defining what's, what price you want to buy at. You're simply buying at the market value. Now, this means that we are a taker of the market. And what, if I just take us back to those um, GDAX fees, what we we'll then be looking at is the maximum being 0.3% fee. So um, that is us being the taker fee. And I'll show you what the difference is between maker fee in just a moment. So we are a taker and we're taking the price of what the market is defining at the moment. So what we then do is type in the amount of euros we want to pay with. And it tells us the total amount of Ethereum we will actually be purchasing. Once we do that, we would just simply click on to buy order. And you will then see it appear in open orders. Once the order is complete, it will then appear in the top right hand corner. If we then just look at limit for the moment, so with regards to limit, what we're doing is we're buying or we're selling at the price that we are defining. So we can go through and we are we can state that we want to purchase a certain amount of Ethereum at a certain price. So that will now make us a maker of the market. So again, if I take us back to those fees, we're then looking at 0% fee because we are making the price. And again, then you would go through and you would click on to uh, place buy order, it would then appear in your open orders until that order is actually completed. So what we'll be doing is waiting for the market to reach the price that we want to buy at. We then have the option which is stop. So what the stop option allows us to do, it's a more advanced kind of uh, function and it triggers a buy or a sell order depending on the value that we define in here. Again, this would make us a maker of the market and therefore we will be paying that 0% fee from here. If we then go through, we can view our accounts from here. Now it's worth pointing out in here that you shouldn't really keep your your cryptocurrency or your assets on an exchange as you don't have access to your private keys. Hackers are way more likely to want to kind of attack a big exchange like the Jut likes of GDAX, which has obviously got lots and lots of assets on there. Whereas if you have your private keys, you have control over your own assets and people are less likely to want to attack you for your assets. 
And what that will do is show you any orders that have completed um, through time, depending on the different types of currency pairs. Um, you can see here that I've made a few orders that are Bitcoin to euros. If I just take us back to trade. Now, once you've sold your the likes of your Bitcoin or your Ethereum or your Litecoin, you can then go through and withdraw. So if you want to go through and you want to withdraw from GDAX, say, for example, you want to send it over to an exchange like Binance and you want to go through and buy some altcoins, you can do so transaction free. Now, I've actually done a full tutorial and review of Binance. So what I'll do is I'll put that in the top right hand corner now. So if you do have Bitcoin and you want to send it across to Binance and you want to look through at some altcoins, then please take a look at that video as that should be able to help you. Now, the only downside to sending your cryptocurrency from GDAX, yes, it is free, but it is not instant. Um, I actually do cloud mining and I recently sent um, some funds across to BitClub Network and it took over 24 hours to actually go through. So it wasn't a problem for me. However, some of these sites are kind of time limited and want you to send over funds within 24 hours or sometimes less than that. So it's just worth pointing out the fact that it can take some time for that to come across. But, you know, it is free. Now, that was a really brief overview of GDAX. I think that GDAX is kind of your next step after you've gone through, you've signed up to Coinbase and you've maybe purchased your first Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin. But I think that moving on to GDAX is probably your next step. It gives you a really good insight into the crypto markets and what's going on. And also you can go through and you can kind of trade transaction free. If you've got any questions with regards to GDAX, then please feel free to put them in the comments below. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like. And if you want to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.